Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2023 and another part of the journeyman with Leeds United. Today we take on Real Madrid in the second leg of the Champions League quarterfinal and then take on Manchester United in the semi-final of the FA Cup. So we could go out of the rest of the cup competitions this, se this season um, in today's episode. Fingers crossed we won't. Uh, and hopefully we can push on and maybe even win another trophy this season. I feel like that's how we're going to get any success this year. But uh, it has been okay since the last time I saw you. Obviously, we beat uh, Club Bruges 2-1 after beating Liverpool in the EFL Cup final. Uh, we beat Fulham on penalties 1-1 one, one after uh, 120 minutes. But Francisco Jorge put us through um, with... Oh well, sorry. He he scored in in that time, um, and then we scored every one of our penalties. Uh, we then beat Newcastle two one away from home. Johnny Ballesteros and Nat Wallbank scoring there. We then drew four all in the first leg of this Champions League quarter final with Real Madrid. Brilliant match. Johnny Ballesteros uh, an own goal. Nat Wallbank and Tiara scoring a ninety fifth minute equaliser there. Uh, and then we lost 2-1 to Manchester United in the league. Edgar Navarro um, put us ahead, but Man United came back and won that one, meaning that we are now, unfortunately, 12th in the Premier League. That's pretty much as low as we are going to go this season. Um, it would be nice to win our final seven matches. I think that's perfectly possible, um, especially because we got five home games in our last seven. I think we can possibly win all seven that would take us up to 65 points which I don't think will be enough for top four now but might sneak us into the top six if we're very lucky um where would 65 points get you in previous years let's have a little look 65 would get us to seventh last year the year before that would be eighth um the year before that it would be sixth so that that's kind of where we're looking now um Liverpool, by the way, have lost their first match of the season. Uh, they did that a couple of matches ago away to Wolves. So they're not going to do an invincible season, which is is in interesting. Uh, Andre Lunin will be leaving at the end of the year. He has agreed to join Al Jazeera on a free transfer. So a bit gutted about that because, of course, he is still a, a very influential player. Um, and still a, a good backup to have as well. Um, this is the team that we're going to put out there today against Real Madrid. Of course, going for the 4-2-4. That's worked so well in the Champions League so far. Gyro will start and go with Bradley Embede up up on Meccano and uh, Mizogen in defence. That is not going to be what happens. We're going to do that and we're going to do that. Mizogen will start at left back. Uh, Mangiavacci and Casadai will start in defensive midfield positions with Navarro and Jorge rekindling that partnership wide of Nat Wallbank and Johnny Ballesteros up top. So here we go then into the match against Real Madrid. Of course, away from home at the Bernabeu. We're up against it, but we scored four goals against them in the first leg. So anything is possible. We know we've got a, a good chance. And if we play at our best, we can blow Real Madrid away. And we know that. But uh, let's get into it. Possibly the final time we'll hear this music. Because uh, I don't think we're going to be qualifying for the Champions League this season. And we might have to look for another job in the summer. I, I do think that might be in order. But, uh, yeah, Ramadani, of course, uh, a top player for Real Madrid. We sold him a, over a year ago now. Replaced him with Mangiavacci this summer. And, uh, you know, I think he's been a, a perfectly adequate replacement. But, uh, yes, here we go then. Um, Ramadani not actually playing or starting this match. Here's Mizogin, throws it in, but uh, Milichau. Gets a clear. Now here's uh, Upper Meccano. Gets it to Bradley, who cuts it out. And, well, Vinny Jr. has got it back. Here's Moretti now. Moretti crosses the ball over to Angelo. Angelo forward to Doku. Here's Angelo now with a chance, and it's 1-0 to Ma uh, Real Madrid. And that's exactly what we wanted to avoid, really. Was uh, Real Madrid getting an early lead here? We don't want to watch that again. Yeah, is Ramadani on the bench? Yeah, he is Fadil Ramadani on the bench there. Has had a good season for them. 
to be fair. Here's Bradley. Gets it towards Navarro, who's lost it again. Here's Vinny Jr. now on the ball. Gets it to uh, Moistra, uh, Moistras to Angelo. Could be 2 0 here. Hits a post. Ooh, that could be an important moment in this match if we get back into it now. Rizzo to Milichau. Here's Boss. It's cleared. Here's Tiata. Now to Mizogen. Casadai. To Mangiavachi. Up at Meccano. No, he's lost it. And it's Doku now who's pushing forward. Doku with the chance potentially to whip it in. Oh, it's 2 0. Valverde with the goal. Mm. And now what do we do? We're 6 4 down on aggregate now. And not playing brilliantly. Liverpool versus Arsenal. 0 0 at the moment. Don't know what it is on aggregate. Yeah, can't see what. Arsenal's aggregate score is, but here's Vinicius Jr. on the left-hand side, still pushing forward. This is Real Madrid showing that we've got a long, long way to go before we uh, are a true Champions League contender. Arsenal are ahead on aggregate against Liverpool. That is interesting. Absolutely interesting. Right. <clears throat> Let's keep going then. Um, Half-time then. 2-0 to Real Madrid. That's... Keep pushing into the second half. It will be the top five that qualify for the Champions League this year because we're definitely going to be the best performing nation in the Champions League. We have a possibility of having four clubs through the semi-final. Here's uh, Doku with a uh, with a free kick. Didn't didn't work out for him though. Now what do we do? We need to change things up. So. Ballesteros is coming off. Uh, Navarro is coming off for Jevin Simmons. Casada is going to come off for Mayano. We're going to swap them two round. Um, Bradley's going to come off for Pillbeam. Uh, and Weber is actually going to come on. For, oh no, that's end. Of, <laughs> that's the end of that. We haven't got any more that we can bring on. That's fine. That's fine. So five substitutions. Let's see what we can do here. Be nice to grab a goal back. Maybe take this to extra time. Maybe even penal Jeffs, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Here's Vinicius Jr. to seal it for Real Madrid over the bar. Mm, I think we're running out of steam now as a team. And we've had far too many matches this season, and, and that's kind of having its effect on us this year didn't really affect us too much last year but it's yeah just can't seem to get on top of the fatigue here's Vinicius Jr with a shot on it's deflected in oh <laughs> seven four then on aggregate and Real Madrid have shown us who's boss today haven't they I mean look at this Vinicius Jr there a massive deflection into the back of the net. And it is what it is. Liverpool, by the way, 2-0 up against Arsenal. So they're going to go through as well unless Arsenal get a goal back. But it's full time and I don't think that happens. So Liverpool have overturned a first leg deficit. And uh, we are out of the Champions League. Not that surprising. It felt like our last way of qualifying would be to try and get through but um, that is that we will receive 9.3 million for playing in the Champions League quarterfinal we'll hopefully get some decent prize money as well from it um, and that'll help out our financial situation which is of course diabolical <laughs> you know me it's diabolical um, we're just slightly over on the spending not too much 20 grand that's not bad um but yeah we've got our semi-final against man united fingers crossed we can have some positives today here we go then few changes for this match Pillbeam and embere come back into the squad and deviath comes back onto the left hand side replacing Jorge. And uh, we are going to go for the vertical tick attacker that has worked pretty well uh, domestically up until this point. Um, we did use it against Man United in the, the last match we played against them. But of course, 
today massive uh, difference. Um, I want us to improve in our recent performances. Obviously, we've not won any of our last three. But yeah, let's have a little look at this Manchester United side. There's got to be some old boys in there. Rashford still leading the line. You know, you've got to think that Man United side is going to need revamping at some point. I would fancy the Man United job. But, you know, I've got to be honest. It would be a job that appeals to me. But um, here we go. Here's Neto. Gets it whipped in. Punched away by uh, Gyro. Now here's Duranville. I think that's offside for Neto. That is definitely offside. He was still near the corner flag when that ball was played. So let's have a look at this. Yeah, disallowed. It felt like that was the case. Um, let's have a look at that. Let's see how far offside he actually was. Not not that far, maybe about a yard. He has Rashford with a free kick. You know he's going to score it because we've called him an old man. Marcus Rashford steps up oof, just over the bar, but United looking the better team at the moment. Um yeah, he has Neto now with the, the cross. Oh, it's a great save from Gyro. And uh, a missed opportunity with the run-up, uh, the follow-up. And yet, yeah, Rashford will be turning 36 this year. And he is still playing at a very, very high level, leading the line for Manchester United. Here's Pillbeam on the right-hand side. What a run this has been from Kean Pillbeam. Gets it back to Wallbank. Wallbank now to Mangiavacci. Forward to Nat Wallbank. Nat Wallbank with the shot. It's Dedia. Dedia again. Oh, it's not in. But that was that was so close to being the moment that we could potentially take the lead there. Let's encourage them again. Man United have definitely been the better side in this first half. But if we can nick a goal against the run of play... That would definitely sweeten the deal. That's not a good pass, but uh, we've won it back. Here's Teata Casadai again. Casadai's not had the best of seasons. Dedia now. No, loses it. It is cleared. Now Teata to Casadai again. Here's Dedia. What a chance this is for Jeffrey Dedia. How's he missed that? All he had to do was go either side of Dean Henderson there, who again is an old man. <laughs> Here's Navarro with a chance. He's going to whip it in here. Whips it in towards Embedi over the bar. Now we've got the, the run of play. We are the ones that are really showing the momentum here. But here's Neto now with a corner for Man United. Cruz with the header. Mangiavacci away. Here's Embedi. No. Oof. Oh, Diouf almost got him. How old's Dean Henderson? He's 36. Wow. He, wow, he was born. Same year as me. Slightly older than me, though. Here's Mizogen, gets it to Mbete, now to Mangiavacci, to Casadai. Nope, he's lost it. Aaron's to skip, skip over the top. It's Duranville. Oh, what a goal that is for Julian Duranville. Just can't seem to beat Man United in this save. We just, yeah, are not, not quite there with it. And it's uh, Skip that gets the ball over the top. Duranville, mm couple of touches and that is just terrific from him and it's 1-0 here's Navarro can we bounce back straight away here and Betty with the header yes we can back on two level terms just before half time that is crucial come on yes absolutely terrific header there Navarro with the cross in and Betty leapt above everybody else and I'll tell you what he scores more corners than you would think, I think that's probably his eighth goal of the season, just from corners, which is pretty crazy. Now then, one all in a half time. Let's see what we can do in this second half. Wallbank not having the best of games. And we're now 60 minutes in, so what do we want to do? Dedi is going to come off, we're going to put Jorge on. Um, We're going to put Jevin Simmons up top. As a poacher, that's all right. Mizogen's going to come off for Lions. Mm, that'll do for now. You know, try and just freshen it up a little bit and see what we can do. Here's Aaron's, gets it forward, but Lions cuts it out. 
Tiara. Here's Kasadai to Mangiavachi. Now Mbeti. Here's Gyro to Tiara to Kasadai. Back to Gyro. This feels like we're going to lose it and regret it. Mangiavachi back to Gyro. We're boxing ourselves in here. Man United are starting to press us. Can we hit them on the counter-attack? That's the question. Here's Tiara. Kasadai. Mbete, Mangiavachi to Mbete. Here's Pillbeam now. We've got a bit of space. That was well worked. Pillbeam now bombing forward to Ballesteros now. Here's Navarro. Edgar Navarro, what a chance. Oh, that would have been an awesome goal. That really would have been an awesome goal because we built it up. We worked the space and Navarro's just blasted it over the bar, which is a, a real shame. But... Let's see if we can keep going. Here's Navarro now with a great chance. Pushing forward. Still going. Here's Jorge. Oh, that was a nice idea. But Ballesteros has got it. And that was nearly the moment. He just didn't seem to believe his luck in getting that back. Oh, my God. That was so close. Now, good tackle by Simmons. Here's Ballesteros. Now he has Kassadai forward to Jorge and it's Ballesteros who scores 26th goal of the season. And that is huge. He's not scored a bigger one than that, you'd have to say. And uh, let's swap those two round. We're going to go to our slightly more defensive formation now for the final 10 minutes. Can we hang on and get to another final this season? That would be awesome. Here's Jorge. Can we seal the deal? And... Uh, well, that was a poor corner in the end. And here's Smith on the counter-attack. But Kassadai cuts it out, but then loses it. Still pushing forward here. Smith on the right-hand side. What a run this has been. Oh, how's he missed? Oh, oh. it felt very much like that was the moment Man United were going to equalise. Here's Smith again. Great ball forward. Here's Marcus Rashford, the captain. Whips it in. Oh, it's a good block, but he's got it back. And Rashford's still going, but Mangiavachi gets it away. Jorge away now. And now here's Mann. And Man United are pushing forward here. Salinos, end of highlight. This is what we like to see. Right. Let's hold back. We've got four minutes of added time here. And we've got an injury to Kasadai. That is huge, actually. If he's out for a while, it's a groin injury. That could be end of season for Kasadai. But uh, I think we've done it. 97 minutes. There we go. Never mind Fergie time. It's good speed time. <laughs> Somebody said that in the, the comments uh, a few episodes ago. I liked it a lot. But there we go. We beat Manchester United by two goals to one. And we will be in another final this season. The FA Cup final, of course. Which uh, I'm really, really looking forward to next time out. Um, because from this point we might as well go all the way to the end of the season but we could do a double crazily enough um, we'll be playing Chelsea in the final now Chelsea aren't having a great season they're in 11th that could well be somewhere that we end up next season if you look at their manager history you know um, well that doesn't actually show uh, oh Graham Potter was there till 2028, apparently. But it doesn't say how, how long he stayed there. So that seems a bit of a glitch. But uh, they've had a very, very up and down season. You know, you look at their squad and it's an aging squad, definitely. There's not much evidence of old Chelsea. Reese James still there. Um, but other than that, I can't really see it. Mason Mount still there, 34 years old now. Um, you know, he's been a great player for them over the years, but probably time to move on. It, it's definitely an interesting one if, if it was to come about. But uh, we are going to be playing Chelsea in the final of the FA Cup. That's going to be on the 25th of May. So next episode, we'll have the season finale uh, against Bournemouth before taking on Chelsea in the FA Cup final. But can we finish in that top half? I think Project win the last seven games. 21 points give ourselves the best possible chance to finish in that top five because I think fifth place will uh, will get Champions League football next season so that is our target now finish fifth 
after finishing the season strongly, but I don't see it happening, if I'm honest. But if you've enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Football Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.